Today's date is July 25th, 2020, Saturday. The time is approximately 3 p.m. <clears throat> I'm on notebook 33, page number 1,673. Um, just uh, my grandmother's uh, residence right now, and I'm just making a quick video. I had uh, made a purchase today for a uh, stamper right here. For, uh, and it reads uh, CJS High Treason Task Force with my uh, email address of fps138205 curtis at gmail.com. Um, my uh, stuff is not secure. I know there's uh, some kind of criminal activity, hindrance, obstructions, intimidations going on with my computer and, uh, well, you know, my internet activity emails, along with just things that I'm facing generally so this is to note that I bought this stamper today no one assisted I didn't tell anyone I didn't uh, at all indicate I was gonna buy this and you know use it for the purposes of my complaints against uh, political and police corruption and organized crime um, what I call my attention is I had to leave it there for overnight I made the purchase on the 23rd and uh, didn't go yesterday and I went today decent uh, decent enough at an early early time the uh, label here that uh, indicates that the staple store quality important to us is important to us stamped July 23rd 2020 uh, quality checked by Anna uh, Curtis or rather Hastings Curtis uh, this uh, the hand printed uh, source of uh, of uh, the label concerns me and I, uh, I noticed that right away as soon as I see my name spelt that uh, immediately I uh, thought of uh, a mail item I don't have the original form anymore it was uh, stolen from me at a staple store just uh, on Leola but uh, immediately this the source of that uh, reminded me of this right here of the Curtis Hastings and uh, this one right here as well and uh, this document the Manitoba government or at least persons uh, recepting the call when I was living on uh, Lauren 101 Lauren Avenue indicated that they did not see uh, did not send out this material they have no indications and they uh, they weren't going to claim any responsibility for it and, uh, when I went to Staples on June 2nd I uh, was uh, harassed by Nicole manager staple manager and she had indicated that uh, or just you know wanted me to leave and I think during the harassment the intimidation when uh, I was leaving getting my things come together a uh, duotang or a binder had uh, went missing and it had a lot of information for my taxes and uh, including the original document forms of this right here so there's a lot of key documents and original signatures and pen signatures and letters that went missing in that so and the reason I bring that up is because right away I noticed this and they, you know it looks like the same looks like the same person probably doing this so I just want to make sure that I had this duly noted and this would uh, this is, would implicate the uh, legislative building the premier as well if this email made it to them which it almost indicate the email did make it to them it sounds like it looks like but the material that the address that it can, comes back is is uh, very suspicious 900 Broadway 386 or you know whatever the address is no signature usually they uh, provide a signature there was nothing on this so I'm concerned that uh, in this this request if it would have came back as acknowledged from the premier uh, this uh, would uh, indicate the uh, the premier was well known that the police has been uh, involved in major corruption in my case for well over three years so I well I try to get a confirmation on this uh on this but in the meantime i just wanted to note it i put it in my notebook right away starting this is the purchase today but starting here so uh indicates a suspected high treason obstructions and accessories after the fact at staples canada and uh, i just wrote that uh, how i felt the uh what i just explained that uh, it was suspicious and that there's a uh, some uh activities possible uh, financial fraud groups and intimidation or police probably at these staple stores uh, the one on uh, Leela Avenue anyway where they uh, bullied me and had me ejected on June 2nd 2020 and uh, that's when I th that would be the day I found out about my brother being uh, stabbed attacked in Stoney uh, so this would be shortly after the Darius incident as well so I'm concerned that uh, where I'm going uh, 
people may be influencing the activities of uh, intimidation towards me. And at this point, I'm uh, pursuing complaints for conspiracies that are now mounting to uh, crimes against, well, you know, crimes against humanity, but high treason because I've uh, been making complaints to and about the Prime Minister and uh, several other uh, officials that would uh, obviously ha have the responsibility of making sure uh, crimes against humanity do not happen on uh, Canadian or North American soil, really. But uh, I am going to seal this up. I just wanted to show that uh, this is me, that no one should be in possession of this. No one should be able to, uh, you know, say this was theirs. There's no powers of attorney. And uh, more notably, I have uh, the original receipts here. And uh, oh yeah, and I just wanted to bring this out, this Erin Broham. I don't think she is exactly who she indicates she is, but uh, I don't. I didn't find any similarities in her uh, the pen, but uh, you never know. So I'm going to seal this back up. I already opened it once. I'm going to crazy glue it sealed so no one can get into it and i'm not going to pull these uh, receipts out for uh until needed until i can uh confirm that i'm not being subject to major you know or intimidation at these uh, staple locations i'm going to be uh writing the uh, president or ceo mary saget uh maybe mayor brian bowman may be able to assist considering that i lost out on a new laptop my uh, stuff was packed away and i got no materials to carry on and do what i need to do to ensure my safety and uh, well-being from uh, you know all this police corruption organized crime so but i'm going to seal it up in here and i'll uh, leave it at that i'll uh, signature it and uh, and that'll be it